Up, pre-game tailgating. More than three hours before kickoff, grills were fired up and music was blaring throughout the MetLife Stadium parking lots. The Giants hosted zero fans a last year, a decision around the NFL that continues to boggle the mind. Down, fans in stadium. Did Giants fans forget there was a game on Sunday and it started at 4.25 local time? The stands were shocking empty as kickoff approached, up, Saquon Barkley's return. The Giants managed Barkley's return from last year's ACL injury with caution, holding him out the entire preseason. He made his return against the Broncos, which was a positive sight because the NFL is better when he's healthy. Down, Bradley Chubb's health. Chubb's ankle injury, sustained in practice before the preseason finale on August 28, kept him out of the season opener. Why did he play against the Rams? A projected breakout year is off to a bad start. Up, Broncos jersey reps, pregame jersey run down in the stands, Von Miller, Bradley Chubb, Shelby Harris, Jerry Judy, Drew Locke. Pat Certain too, Justin Simmons, Cortland Sutton, and Noah Fant, and former players John Elway, Peyton Manning, DeMarcus Ware, Shannon Sharp, Wes Welker, and Philip Lind. The Broncos superstar linebacker extinguished a promising opening drive for the Giants with a tackle for loss on Cater I.S. Tony's jet sweep, then sacked QB Daniel Jones on third and two to end New York's next possession down, secondary slip-ups. The Broncos' much ballyhooed secondary remodel got off to an inauspicious start in the first half. Free agent Kyle Fuller was beat deep by receiver Darius Slayton on the Giants' first possession and first-round pick Pat Surton too whiffed on his tackle attempt on receiver Sterling Shepard's 37-yard touchdown. The good news? The secondary was terrific in the second half. Down, review booth. Why waste our time with replay reviews if the end result is the booth being unwilling to overturn weak need calls on the field? Anyone with two eyes saw Logan Ryan recovered Albert Okoye Bunham's fumble with his knee out of bounds at the Giants' four-yard line. Of course, the call went the other way.